Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and let's talk about Season 5 of Netflix's BoJack Horseman. First we'll tell you our recap of the show, followed up by our review, and then we'll finish off with telling you if it's worth the watch. Created by Raphael Bob Waxberg, BoJack Horseman follows the story of BoJack Horseman, a beloved sitcom star from the 90s who has become a washed up celebrity that complains about everything going wrong in his life. So recap time. The main story of season 5 revolves around the production of BoJack Horseman's new show, Filbert. BoJack continues to struggle with his need to be the center of attention while having a casual relationship with his co-star Gina. Princess Caroline juggles producing the show with Flip McVickers and trying to adopt a baby to fulfill her dream of a family. Todd manages to get a job as head of ad sales while exploring his asexuality with Yolanda. After her divorce, Diane does some soul searching and tries to distance herself from Bojack, but ends up being hired as a consultant for the show. Meanwhile, Mr. Peanut Butter deals with the divorce by dating the much younger Pickles and taking the role of Filbert's old partner on the show. As with last season, the story arc is centered around Bojack's slow descent into insanity and depression. The struggles that he faces are no longer just in his personal life, but now have branched out into his work and social life as well bringing his mental state onto the brink as we watch this flawed but good-natured character go through some very relatable life crises. This is seen most prominently through the award-worthy episode Free Churro, where we watch Bojack as a lone monologuing character that felt like a modern Shakespearean play. What stands out as a significant change for this season is the focus back on the ensemble as we watch the themes that Bojack's been dealing with, but now in the context of more people. Each character's story looks at how their life and these issues are intertwined as we get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of each of these themes in a very realistic and grounded depiction. However, this does cause the season to be filled with a lot more bottle episodes and ends up having you crave more of that ensemble interaction that we love from the show. Apart from the actual story though, this season is exactly what you'd expect from BoJack Horseman. The animation is a great unique style that's able to embody the deeply emotional themes it portrays. Some of the jokes don't always hit, but the comedy isn't thrown into the background by its serious commentary. Instead, it complements it in this hybrid dark humor that takes the world of Hollywood and puts it into a morbid outlook. It's as if the narrative is told through the eyes of Bojack Horseman, and what better way to tell a story than through the eyes and mind of the protagonist. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. This season of Bojack Horseman continues its dark and emotionally complex narrative without becoming stale. The story focuses on the downward spiral of his titular character while adding more substance to the subplots of the supporting characters, creating a bleak and cathartic look at the realities of life while continuing to use the charming offbeat humor that this show is known for. From its deep commentary to its obscene humor, this show manages to take its mismatched tones and mix them together seamlessly like very few shows can. So I'm going to say it's worth the watch. And that's our recap and review of Season 5 of BoJack Horseman. If you've seen it, what did you think? And was it worth the watch? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Fanatic 5 video where we discuss the top common roles. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.